Hey everybody, Charles Curry with eShopMarketer.com and I wanted to talk to you guys all today and talk about how to make sure your Etsy shop is SEO optimized. Now I'm going to be talking about Etsy and showing Etsy as an example but this is also going to have a lot of good information if you have a your own Shopify store, your own WordPress uh, you know, uh, e-commerce store um, or if you're selling on Amazon or a few other places. Uh, but Today I'm going to just mostly be talking about Etsy, but you'll still get good information for other places. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, your keywords. It's very important that you know the keywords that you want to get ranked for. So for our shop, WaltDecalSource.com, um, we have you know a list of you know keywords that are relevant to us uh, that include um, nursery wall decal, uh, kids wall decals, ocean wall decals. Um, we want to get ranked for girls wall decals, boys wall decals. You know a lot of related keywords. Most all of them have wall decal in it, but. Uh, that's some of the keywords we want to get ranked in. So a, a tool that I use is the Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool, and it's free. Um, if you just Google Google Keyword Planner, um, it'll bring you to a page that makes you set up an AdWords account. Um, but don't worry, you don't have to spend any money. You don't have to run any ads. I, I can't remember if it does make you set up a campaign and put a credit card on file, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to actually spend any money, so don't worry about it. So the, the first thing you do is come in here and you want to find out what keywords are relevant, which ones are getting searched, and if it's popular in Google, it's likely going to be somewhat popular on Etsy. Um, obviously, there's no Etsy uh, planner keyword tool. So first thing, just type in some of the keywords that you want to get ranked for. Kids wall decals, nursery wall decals, children's room decals. So I typed a few keywords in there. Um, all I'm going to do next is do get ideas. So it's going to give you two things. It's going to give you ad group ideas and then keyword ideas. And it, uh, I put in things like kids wall decals, nursery, children's, beautiful wall decals, cherry blossom tree decal. So you can see there's lots of searches for all of these keywords and all of the related keywords. But I want to know how many searches each of these ones get. So I'm going to hit keyword ideas and it's going to tell me exactly how popular each keyword is. So you can see here nursery wall decals that single keyword is very popular has a lot of competition but obviously a lot of people are searching for it so it's a good keyword to put on our shop. Uh, this other one kids wall decal that's also good but these ones are quite a lot smaller beautiful wall decals that one could stay on but it's not really uh, very narrow. It could mean a lot of things. It could be a lot of categories. It's just saying beautiful. Cherry blossom tree decals. That one's a lot less popular than I thought. So that gives you an idea. These two are very big and let's see if we can work on those ones a little more to get closer. So what I did was I tried ocean wall decals. That's one of our best selling items right now is the ocean category. But I also tried uh, stickers, kids wall stickers, and nursery wall stickers. Uh, because it's people search for it a little differently. So let's see if those ones are popular as well. So let's see. Didn't look like it searched it properly. So let me search it again. So there we go. So nursery wall stickers is almost as popular as kids wall decals. And actually kids wall stickers is very popular. It's more popular than kids wall decals. So those would be good keywords to also go after. Um, and you can do this more and more. And it's a good idea to actually pull some of these keywords up in Google and see uh, what if there's longer term keywords that are relevant. So if you come down here, uh, nursery removable wall decals is a related search. And so obviously that one's also a popular search. Um, there's nursery wall decor, nursery wall murals, nursery wall decals for boys. So this will give you a lot of ideas of other good keywords that you can put in there to see, um, you know, to, to go ahead and, and try and uh, optimize your shop for. So uh, nursery wall stickers removable. So it's a related keyword, but it doesn't actually get as many searches as I thought. So, but 
you can search around for these you can check out the ad group ideas so you got decal stickers decals baby you know if I pull up this one I got a whole bunch of ideas for other smaller keywords wall decals baby baby room decals and you can get a lot of really good ideas uh, for keywords that are going to go for your shop so it's good to pick uh, the 10 be you know the 10 main keywords that you want to get ranked for and then start optimizing for just those 10 if you if it's too much work to try and get ranked for a whole lot more than 10 and in most cases if you get ranked for you know kids wall decals you'll probably rank similarly for kids wall stickers or uh, you know other related keywords like let's see kids wall decals pop this in here it, if the keyword is similar you'll probably get ra ranked for that one too so if it's kids wall decals you might also pull up for kids wall decals boys let's see fathead Walmart pull up this one and Etsy Walmart so it's it's somewhat similar it's not exactly the same little bit of difference kids wall stickers is fathead uh, Wayfair Walmart all posters this one kids wall decals is fathead Walmart Wayfair all posters same links all at the top so you don't necessarily need to worry about trying to rank for every single tiny keyword uh, pick the big ones that make sense to you and try and optimize for those ones obviously um, when you're on Etsy, you want to optimize for it. If you're trying to get ranked at the top of Google for a big competitive keyword, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But if someone's searching it a lot on Google's keyword planner, then they're going to be searching it on Etsy. And obviously, when you post a new listing to Etsy and you have recency and all that stuff, you can get ranked a little quicker. So let me go to the next point. So if you haven't named your shop or if you're new um, or and you don't have a lot of sales or maybe any sales, it's really good to name your shop something that's keyword relevant. Now it's fun to have a brand and stuff like that. Um, with our shop, Wall Decal Source, it's pretty clear what we were trying to get ranked for, and it has been helpful to us. Now, if you're trying to, if you really want to have a cute brand, if you can integrate the keyword into the name somehow, that would be really good. Like I've I've seen a, um, you know, a site I think of is called Tatly.com. Um, and they do like custom tattoo henna or custom temporary tattoos and you can do your own designs and it's it's uh, you know it's it's a brand name it's clever tatly but it also gets the point across um, it, you know and it, and it can tell it's getting trying to go for the tattoo keywords so um, if your shop is you know something you know if it's a personal name like you know uh, Smith's decal store you're, it's you know you'll have an okay time but if you can pick a good keyword for your your name and integrate a brand name into it that's awesome if you can't and you're brand new I, it's almost better in my opinion to try and get something that's somewhat got a, the you know the keywords in there the number one keyword that you want to go after and that would be you know it'll really help you out if you're trying to get ranked so the next point I want to make is uh, the where you want to optimize your shop for keywords so each section is the one of the main keywords your shop is getting ranked for so excluding the shop home that's not a, it's not a keywords but if I pulled this up um, I have a tool here called SEO quake it's a really good tool for seeing um, you know page info on keywords and stuff you can go ahead and get it add it to Chrome it's a Chrome extension it's free but if I pull this up it will go ahead and tell me what uh, the main keywords are on my shop. So you can see I have the nursery wall decal keyword in my title, nursery wall decals, beach and sea decals by wall decal source, and my meta keywords are just my shop sections going down. So I should really have nursery wall decals at the top, uh, but the ocean category has been doing really well with us, so we put that one to the top. So you can see ocean wall decals, nursery wall decals, kids wall decals, tree, and that is exactly what my keywords are going straight down. Ocean wall decals, nursery wall decals, kids wall decals, tree, so on and so on. Now the next thing that's really important is putting your shop description, which is... Um, I, I can show you where to edit that on the back, but you should know. Your shop description is uh, right there, and you want to do, you know, put your keywords in your shop description as much as possible as well. But obviously, your shop description is more of a, you know, it's not just keywords packed in there. 
you know, it needs to say something. So ours says transform boring rooms with high quality nursery wall decals and, or beach and sea decals today. Design your own templates are fully customizable. Um, so that one's a little grammar is a little off there, but you can see we have nursery wall decals in the first at the beginning of our shop uh, title. It's one of the first keywords in our shop description. Our, excuse me, in our meta keywords, and it's in our shop description as well. So that, that one and beach and sea decals are th the two keywords that are really plugged away in our three areas. So that's a really handy tool to see how you're currently um, packing your keywords into your shop and what you're trying to get ranked for. And um, you really want to make sure that you can get the main keyword you want to rank for in all of those spaces as much as possible. And the next point I wanted to make is, um, you know, make sure everything has proper grammar and spelling. Google doesn't want to rank you if everything's broken and if, you know, if you have lots of clear misspellings, then Google doesn't know that's a keyword. You know, if you're trying to rank for nursery wall decals and you, you know, you spell it backwards, Google doesn't know what keyword you're trying to get ranked for and neither does Etsy when people are searching for your items. So if you have lots of keywords all over the place and there, you know, lots of things are misspelled, um, it doesn't know what you're trying to rank for. So that's an important thing to think of. Make sure you have correct grammar and correct spelling because um, if you have bad spelling, doesn't know what you're trying to rank for and Google doesn't like bad grammar. So do your school. So the next thing that I think is really cool is there's actually a tool you can use to spy on your competitors. So um, I'm going to pull up, it's called Quicksprout. So if you go to quicksprout.com, um, you can type in your, your website right here or the link to your Etsy shop and it will tell you um, how you're doing. So I'm going to paste this in here. And it will, it makes you uh, opt in with your Google account. Just go ahead and do that. Don't worry about it. This, um, so it, it wants to connect to your Google account um, if you have one. So just go ahead and do that to, to use the tool. It works fine, and they're not going to steal your information or anything. I trust them. So this is really cool. If you pop your shop in here, you can see um, your speed score. Obviously, it's going to be quick because it's on Etsy's website. But it also gives you an SEO analysis. So um, these are things that you can't really change. If you're getting all these yellow errors and it's your own website, you should be concerned. Um, these are things that are negative in Google's eyes. But this is Etsy, so obviously you know you can't change things like Etsy's terms of use dynamic URL. So the, the real things to pay attention to are down here. Um, it might, if it says you have lots of backlinks and lots of uh, index pages, that's for Etsy.com as a whole. But it, this part right down here, the keywords, will go ahead and tell you what uh, the keywords are that you are ranking for or showing up for on your shop. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in a few of our competitors up here. And it's going to show me um, how I compare to them. So hopefully this isn't embarrassing for me. This little thing pops up all the time, so I just click that away. So competitor analysis. So Etsy.com, don't worry about that. So right here. So um, this is going to show me what my what keywords my competitors are, are ranking for. So this is me, and then this is um, two, three, and four going down. So uh, yay, I'm a little bit better than everybody else, so that's good. So right here you can see the top keyword for all of us is wall and decal. That's the top single word, word keyword. Top two word phrase is wall decal. And for them it's all favorited favorited. So they don't have the keyword wall decal on there enough. Um, the top three phrase is it's the same for all of us. Added to added. I'm not even sure what that is. But there's just a lot of stuff on Etsy.com. You know like favorite this item and stuff so you can't even adjust those keywords so don't worry about it but it gives you an idea of the top two keyword now if this is your own website and you're trying to check out other competitors websites this is really helpful because obviously they have more control over their page and they have a lot of stuff going on there um, so it's a really cool tool if you're doing your own website to check out what they're doing and the last thing you can do 
obviously you can search on Google to see how other pages are getting ranked on key on Google um, in our space it's there's a lot of people getting ranked on Amazon and you know there's a lot of bigger places like that but uh, you can see if there's other Etsy shops um, the Etsy shirt search wall decals nursery pulls up high for us but you can see there's a lot of different places most of these are big companies but in Etsy if you want to go ahead and search up here you can see um, you know what people are doing to get ranked up here and obviously there's you know a lot of criteria such as how recent your item has been posted that determines this but it rotates a lot but those are the big things to take into account um, you know go ahead go to the Google keyword planner check out the keywords that you want to get ranked for uh, put your shop sections um, and you want to make sure your shop sections are you know they're clear and they have you know the, the main keywords that you want to get ranked for go ahead and put them up there um, and another thing I forgot to cover but each item is a keyword so if you put um, your keywords in your items wall decal uh, wall decal wall decal that's why my shop under here has that number two phrase um, as number the two keyword phrases wall decal because I have it in my shop name so many times right there but I also have it in my descriptions a lot wall decal wall decal wall sticker wall decal so it pulls up that I am really trying to get ranked for wall decal and it really makes it clear so that's all for this video on uh, how to make sure your Etsy shop is SEO optimized. If you guys do want to see how to get your sh items ranked in Etsy, I do have another video um, where I discuss the, the big factors that come into play when trying to get ranked on Etsy for an item and how to go ahead and do that. I'll put the link in the description and you can go ahead and click that to go ahead and check it out. So again, Charles Curry from eShop Marketer. You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to get more awesome videos on how to do Etsy and your own e-commerce shops. Um, and go check out our website, eShopMarketer.com.